the United Kingdom's COVID-19 alert level has been raised to level 4 for the first time since May. This has come as a result of a couple factors that have developed in recent weeks. This includes rising levels of infections of the Delta variant and the rise in cases of the Omicron variant. The rise in infections has been driven by the increased levels of indoor mixing over the festive period. Added to this is the increasing strain on the NHS, that is under greater pressure than ever before. This winter the NHS is having to deal not just with a tidal wave of COVID patients, but it is having to carry this alongside its other non-COVID duties. Major operations have already been cancelled for many, with nearly 13,000 operations cancelled in the last two months alone. Without further intervention, there is a real danger that the NHS, which so many rely on, could be stretched further beyond its limit than it ever has been. Pfizer Booster Shot, the unexpected side effect after third dose, Pfizer finding but what does this alert level mean, what happens next? The UK has five COVID alert levels, ranging from one to five. Level 1 means that COVID is no longer present in the UK. Level 2 means the number of cases and transmission is low. Dementia warning, the 60p ingredient shown to double the risk of memory decline, study, insight Omicron, the initial symptoms seen in 89% of those infected with the strain, CDC report, insight Len Goodman Health, cancer riddled old so and so. The STARS-2 cancer battles level 3 means the virus is in general circulation. Until this evening, this was the level the UK was at. Level 4 means that transmission is high and rising exponentially, one of the recommendations on this level is that social distancing should continue. Level 5 is the highest COVID alert level the government has, if it moves into this alert level, it means that there is a risk of healthcare services becoming overwhelmed. Whilst the alert level changes, it doesn't signify the introduction of any new measures beyond the move into Plan B announced earlier this week. Plan B restrictions include the mandatory wearing of masks in indoor venues such as theatres and cinemas. Masks will also be mandatory for any venue with a capacity of more than 10,000 people. From tomorrow the public will be asked to work from home where they can and a form of COVID status certification, similar to vaccine passports, will be introduced too. The raising of the COVID alert level is in part a response to the rapid spreading of the Omicron variant. This is a variant that poses a real threat not just to Christmas, but to the lives of so many people. In response, tonight Boris Johnson will hold a press conference at 8 p.m. this evening. At this conference it is expected that he will discuss the new measures and encourage more people to get their booster vaccine.